Hi, I'm Father Randy, speaking straight from the heart. And I'm here inside the Paris Center in front of our big, beautiful Christmas tree. It's only a few days before Christmas. I was going to go to the grotto at Old PH, but uh, it's late, and I thought I'd wait till a nice snow and show it to you with the, the snow and all the Christmas trees. In the meantime, you can drive to Manitou yourself and see how beautiful the grotto looks with the new uh, Christmas trees. Today's reading is the Magnificat, that wonderful prayer Mary uh, recites when she finds out that she is going to be the mother of God. My soul magnifies the Lord. I used to always think it a strange thing. How can you magnify the Lord? He's greater than everything. There's nothing greater than God. How could anything we do, how can anything even the Virgin Mary do, make the Lord greater? But we don't magnify God. We don't make God great. We make God's greatness known. We make his presence greater whenever we love our neighbor, whenever we care for those around us, whenever we stop bickering and fighting and causing or magnifying conflict between peoples and instead look for the commonality, look for what makes us brothers and sisters, not what makes us different or enemies. We magnify the Lord by making his greatness known, his presence known, by imitating his son, by living lives of virtue, by somehow making a difference in the world and showing Christ's presence to one another. The big challenge is seeing Christ's presence in one another as well. And in that way, we magnify the Lord. As we draw closer to the great celebration of Christmas, may your lives be filled with love and joy May your goals to magnify the Lord redound to the ends of the earth. May the coming of the Christ child promised to Our Lady live out that prayer she gave by recognizing God's greatness everywhere. Merry Christmas, and I look forward to seeing you uh, in the new year. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.